In this project, we are interested in tracking the tip of a surgical instrument, such as an aspirator, within the volume of a human head. The volume of interest is approximately 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters. There are two relevant surgical instruments, and these are approximately 14 centimeters long. The goal in this particular case is to track the tip of the instrument with an XYZ resolution of less than one millimeter. Our approach is to use a camera-based system mounted on the side table. The exact position on the table does not matter heavily as we are able to take that into account with proper calibration. We used the following two camera-based approaches to try this. The connect-based approach works. First, we use get background to get a calibration image so when we're looking for a color, we can ignore points of that color in the background. Then for each frame, we iterate through the image looking for yellow and blue, and we make a list of the XY coordinates of each yellow and blue pixel. And then after some noise filtering, we use the sample means as an estimator for the centers of the colored portion of the tool. This can be seen as the blue and yellow boxes imposed on the video stream. Next, we look up the corresponding Z coordinate from the Connect Step Sensor. Finally, with the X, Y, and Z estimators for the two points, and the fact that the tool is rigid, we can interpolate the location of the tip, which is seen as the black box. The main drawback of this method is that the depth data, which can be seen in the upper right hand corner, is somewhat noisy and low resolution. So while the X, Y estimators are fairly accurate, the tip position is fairly noisy. Using an off-the-shelf webcam, we are able to infer the tip of the instrument by tracking a known calibration object. We calibrate the camera in an offline process in which we take multiple pictures of a known object, in this case, a chessboard. Next, we calibrate the position of the tip of the instrument with respect to a stationary frame before running the application. We compute the extrinsic parameters of the calibration object for each image captured by the camera. The extrinsic parameters are essentially the position and orientation of the calibration object. By knowing the spatial relationship between the tip of the instrument and the calibration object, we are able to transform the point into the orientation and position estimated by the camera. This approach could be improved by using more cameras and additional calibration objects. As evident from the video, if the calibration object is not clearly visible, the approach fails. By using multiple markers at different views and positions, this increases the chances that the camera will find an accurate frame. This, in conjunction with multiple cameras, would allow for more accurate estimates for the tip of the instrument. 